This is Desmond Butts, and if you've been on my channel, you've seen me do things from limousine work, flying gyroplanes, to power-driven rebuilding cars. Well, today we are going to set up a solar system from eBay. Now, this is part two of my eBay solar panel backup system. I found this UPS. It's a smart UPS 1500 by APC. It puts out a thousand watts of sine wave uh, power. The reason why I went this route is because if you're charging batteries, it doesn't do you any good if you can't use them. And it would be nice to automatically switch power to the appliances that you need to use when power goes out seamlessly so you don't even know the power's out, other than a light maybe in the house goes off that you're used to this hooked directly to the grid. Okay, this is my 24 volt battery bank. I have two 6 volts and one 12 volt. And, uh, hooking them up uh, to output of 24. So once again, this uh, battery backup is gonna go, um, actually I have two of these, this one isn't, but I'm showing this one because it's put together. My other one is totally torn apart, same model. But I'm gonna put a couple of uh, bolts right here that are gonna be a positive and a negative so I can hook these up to my battery pack that I showed earlier in the pantry. That way, not only do the batteries in the uh, UPS work, but they're going to be hooked up, and these are 24 volt in here, by the way. They're going to be hooked up to 24 volts deep cycle, and that will allow it to run my fridge for over 24 hours, and even longer when the sun's out. So uh, we'll get into how this works a little bit later, but the reason why I did this is because it's kind of expensive to have a battery pack sitting and not doing anything, and then when the power goes out, you have to automatically, well, this automatically switches for you because it's designed that way. But if you don't have something like this, to get a solar ba auto battery switching in is quite expensive. But these I picked up used, and they put out 1,000 watts of pure sine wave for about $60, which is pretty cheap compared to buying a, a full-blown system that you might find on the Internet or somewhere else. So my entire energy backup system grid tie that putting energy all the time back on the grid when the sun is out and the battery backup system I'm under a thousand dollars for that so that's why we're showing how to do this in wiring this uh, UPS so that I can hook up my battery bank I found that instead of connecting directly to the positive directly to the positive and the negative and shaving off some of this, it might be easier because there were two big stubs coming out the back with nothing around it on the circuit board to wire them direct to the posts, which I did on the back. Now these are both black wires, but what I did is I put, so that I knew which one was which, black on black, and the yellow head is going to be my positive wire, and they're going to go to the two posts on the outside, which I'll label positive and negative with the 24 down here so I know what they are. This case is easy to take apart. This just snaps off the front, off of this. The batteries go in here, and the battery bank I set right over here temporarily. I'll put it back in. So it has its own battery backup, but that's only gonna last about 15, 20 minutes where the big battery bank I have that is shown earlier will last all day, okay? The bottom case comes off and there's only six screws on the bottom. So very simple to take apart. You can trace the wires easily to these two posts, positive, negative, and hook it up that way if you want to. Or you could, you know, do a number of things. Cut this, put in a Y. I didn't want to go that route. I thought this might be simpler and a little bit cleaner. Has a cover that goes over the top of it right here and it makes good clean installation. So we'll uh, see what happens when we get her hooked up. Okay, quick update on this. These are the two posts that are gonna go to the positive and negative battery bank. That's gonna be positive, that's gonna be negative. I'll put a little 24 volt right there that's how they look from the back side. The yellow is my uh, positive connection, verified. And as I showed earlier, instead of tapping into the wires right here, they both go up to the board and I just soldered them on the top of the board there. It's a little more fit and finish. They come right over the top. Makes for a nice installation. So we'll show you what it looks like when it's all together. Now the test for the battery backup system. Everything looks good. Meter shows 24 volts. Perfect. 
This is a shot of the second set of panels I have that charge my battery bank. Now you might be wondering why I put it on top of the gazebo instead of the house, and that has to do with homeowners association rules, and I'll get more into that later. But this panel here puts out 12 volts at 200 watts, and I have two small panels that I bridged into these that are both 12 volt at like 10 watts apiece. You can see those right there on the other side. This set of panels, unlike these ones here, which are grid tie panels, the ones on the gazebo, they charge the 24 volt battery bank. Okay, this is the system all hooked up. You see I've got my uh, charge controller here and it's putting out, might be easier to see this way. Okay, so everything's hooked up. Charge controller, putting out 25.5 and you can see a little arrow pointing there from the solar panels to the battery. Hopefully you can see that okay. And. Um, the UPS 1000 watt is hooked up to its internal battery and to the battery bank that you can see all done and hooked up right there. The terminals on the far side going across and going through the hole in the back is the solar panels coming through the, the wall. Now this is hooked up to an outlet behind the fridge that goes to this power strip. The power strip has the UPS plugged into it. You can't see it, but the fridge is plugged into the back of the UPS. Okay? Right now, see, refrigerator is on. I come over here, unplug the power to the UPS. Now we're running off a battery. Probably get a beep. This is the load. This is the charge on the batteries and the fridge is still running just fine. Very cool. Not even interrupted one bit. One last side note. The reason why we're using this special UPS backup system is because it's hooked up between the grid and the fridge. That way it's putting power right back to the fridge and not dumping raw power back on the grid. This is why we use a grid tie inverter because when the grid goes down, the grid tie inverter auto shuts off. That way you're not dumping raw power back onto the grid and hurting a worker who might be trying to repair the line. That's also the reason why we don't use a standard inverter and plug it back into the wall in reverse because it will continually dump power back onto the grid. So make sure you watch what you're doing and be safe so that nobody gets hurt and then you'll be able to solar power your house and have the battery backup system and that gives you the best of both worlds. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and to subscribe, this is Desmond Butts, and now you know how to use eBay to solar power your house.